So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at what is probably one of the longest blank cassettes ever made. Of course, I'm talking about the TDK 180 minute blank cassette. Now, before I go any further, I just want to remind you that I would very greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to the channel, it really helps my channel grow and enables me to do more videos just like this one. So please take a couple of seconds and click on that little red square in the bottom right corner and subscribe. It would really help me a lot. Thank you very much. Now, we've all seen cassettes with longer recording lengths. I have certainly used cassettes that were 100 minutes, 110 minutes, and of course, 120 minute tapes, but I wondered, what was the longest blank cassette ever sold? Well, it looks like the prize for that goes to the TDK 180 minute cassette. I can't imagine a tape that's 180 minutes long. Now, 120 minute tapes were notorious for being very thin. So I'm sure these 180 minute tapes were incredibly thin. As a matter of fact, if you look at the image on your screen right now, here is a close up of the tape. And you can see it is so thin, you can see right through the tape to the pressure pad behind it. Wow. Now this tape was introduced in the early 70s, as you can see from this clipping that I found from Billboard magazine from 1971. And it mentions a, con a consumer electronics show, and the sales manager of TDK is even quoted that they were planning to release a 240 minute tape a four hour blank cassette, absolutely insane. Whether or not that 240 minute tape ever happened, I'm not exactly sure, but wow, that would have been even crazier. Now, many tape deck manufacturers actually released a disclaimer with their tape decks that you should never use a tape more than 90 minutes long. This tape was very much suited for voice, not music. It was normal type one ferric and it had very low output. Now these tapes of course are very rare and hard to find and it is rumored that they were mostly sold in Japan during their 10 year run. And that would certainly explain why they can be very hard to find over here in North America. Now it goes without saying that a 180 minute tape would have to be run on a perfectly aligned and adjusted tape deck. I can imagine the slightest glitch would have made this cassette jam. Now this blank cassette is very much sought after by collectors, especially ones that are still sealed. And I've noticed that they sometimes pop up on eBay and can easily fetch $120 each. Ouch. Now my question to you is, have you ever used this tape? Back in the day, did you have one? How was it? Uh, did it jam on you? Did it play okay? What were your experiences with this tape? I'd love to hear it. Please subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.